We all know California has some of the strictest and most ridiculous gun laws on the books. One of the newest, banning the sale of AR-15s. A gun lawmakers deem scary. Our own Carly Twistleman decided to make her own purchase of one before time ran out in California. She joins me live now. Carly, how cumbersome was the process out in California? Grant, it's, it's kind of crazy how extensive they make it and how difficult it is to actually purchase a gun for one in California. But then the fact that now they're banning them, uh, you think that this would be uh, infringement on our constitutional right of bearing arms, but they're not saying that's the case in California. Um, I caught up with Brian at Tactical Gear and Guns in uh, Santa Maria, California, where I purchased my first AR. Uh, take a look at what he had to say. <laughs> I'm here at Tactical Gear and Guns in Santa Maria, California with Brian. Brian uh, is about to sell me my first AR-15. I'm super excited. And the crazy thing is, after December 31st, you will no longer be able to buy these in California. Not in this configuration, right. The bullet button is what currently makes these guns legal in the state. Uh, but for some reason, that's deemed to be too dangerous still. They're trying to slow down the ability to quickly reload the gun. Initially, they banned these guns altogether in the state. In most states, you'd push right here on the magazine release and the magazine would come out. You could put another one in and reload the gun. In our state, the bullet button was the workaround to making this a fixed magazine, so it required a tool, and a bullet can count as a tool, to eject the magazine out of the gun. And pretty much anything that fits in there would work, even a ballpoint pen. Oh, wow, that's still Now, too... that's apparently still too dangerous, never mind the fact not one of these has ever been recovered in a crime. But the governor signed a bill saying that this is considered an assault weapon now. The same guy who invented the bullet button invented this. So basically, once this gun runs dry, and you can see it is clear and empty, you would have to pull the rear takedown pin, which normally would only pull to clean the gun. Once it's hinged open, this little arm is out of the way of the upper, and now the magazine comes out. Oh my gosh. So then you would have to close the gun, put the pin back in, insert a fresh magazine, rack it again. Okay. Never mind the fact bullet button guns still haven't been used in crimes. They think yeah. this is going to make you safer. But why do they do that versus like a handgun that is semi-automatic? Why, why would they not ban those? There you go, trying to use logic again. Yeah, there, there really isn't any logic based behind it, other than I think they hate the look of this gun. It looks scary, so let's do whatever we can to make it as inconvenient to own as possible. So maybe people just say, forget it, I don't want to buy these anymore. Most people, like you came in, and you still don't know the details of this. If you had bought oh, yeah. this gun and I hadn't told you you have next year to decide to register or whatever, um, come 2018, if you didn't okay. register it, you'd then be in felony be possession of an assault right now. And you don't see the media talking about that. Like, yeah. make sure you register your guns if you don't want to be a criminal. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Meanwhile, the crooks are probably laughing about this because they don't follow the law anyway, and they see all of us jumping through hoops to try and legally buy guns. Gun isn't the problem. It's the mental health issues. It's the people who have access to guns that shouldn't. Those issues. It's like blaming cars for DUIs. How has that affected your store as far as sales go? Sales have been insane. Uh, we've been selling rifles as fast as we can get them. We've pretty much cleared out most of our vendors. Um, Lower receivers are usually in this empty part of the cabinet right here. We blew through about 40 of them in three oh my days. Gosh. This is the last one in the store. Right. I'm going to be the lucky owner of it. <laughs> yeah. Grant, it's just crazy the, the rules that they're coming up with. They're really trying to basically get the gun out of California. And, you know, I'm here at DFW Shooting Sports in Bedford, Texas, where you don't have to go through that process. You can come in and buy a gun just like you're supposed to, just like the Constitution says you can, the right to bear arms. And um, I love my state of California, but I'm very sad for it as well. Yeah, and, and Carly, a couple things I noticed in your piece. One, you, you had to give fingerprints there. You don't have to do that in the state of Texas. And how long did you have to wait before you took, took possession of your firearm? Well, I haven't even received my firearm. I have to wait 10 days now before I can actually take possession of it. So if you're wanting to purchase an AR in California, you technically have to do it by the 19th in order to pick it up before the 31st. If you don't have it done by the 19th, then they'd have to ship your gun out of state. Um, it's just crazy. They're, they're trying to go, trying to create all these different obstacles for you know law-abiding citizens to try to get a firearm. And, and what's interesting, and the point that the gentleman you were interviewing kept making, is that not one of those guns has been recovered in the use of a crime. Exactly, and the fact that it's just a semi-automatic. There's so many other guns like that that, you know, I don't want to say this out loud for fear that they'd ban them too, but they haven't banned them yet. So 
it's really pointless. And I, I hope that my state can wake up and legislation might change this law that they're trying to put in effect. Yeah, legislation and lawsuits. And I know the NRA and other gun groups are, are weighing options of taking this battle to court. And it may be where it needs to be fought out, uh, especially with Donald Trump taking over the White House, a Supreme Court that will be favorable to gun owners, especially in California. It may be some relief for them, but they're, the push is on in California, and I don't think they're gonna give up until uh, until some of this stuff gets thrown out at a Supreme Court level. Absolutely, it's even gotten to the point to where if I transfer citizenship to a state like Texas, I would no longer be able to bring that gun back into California with me. You aren't able to will the gun to your children. They want the gun to end with you. So therefore, they're really trying to eliminate it it's yeah. pretty sad. Yeah, it, it is a war on gun ownership for sure. And, and it's basically a prejudice against one type of firearm simply, as you said, Carly, because it looks scary. Hey, great work out there. Welcome back to Texas and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks, Grant. All right, you got it. Look